Welcome everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and today we're looking at the Philips 34 inch curved ultra wide monitor that offers a USB-C dock. The model number is 346B1C and it's from their B-Line. So if we look at the left hand side there, just underneath B-Line, we have a little bit of spec that I want to go through. So it's 34 inches in size or 86.36 centimeters. It offers a WQHD display with its resolution at 3440 by 1440. So it's a massive resolution but also an ultra wide display and it's a first for the channel it's the first ultra wide display we've had on a channel from Philips so I'm looking forward to seeing how well it works and how well it helps with my productivity. Coming over to the right hand side we do have a tagline here which is see more do more which means with an ultra wide display you can have multiple windows open and productivity can flow a lot without closing the window without reopening windows and moving from window to window you can have all of them open at the same time. For me being on social media that's going to be really important and I'm looking forward to seeing how well it works. So some of the key features that it wants to highlight on the front here is that it has a USB-C docking so it has a one port for everything so you can plug in a USB-C connected device such as a notebook or a MacBook plug it in and you can use this monitor straight away with all of your peripherals. It has a curved ultra wide 21 by 9 aspect ratio so for watching movies it's going to be awesome as well but this is more aimed towards productivity. It has a multi-client integrated KV VM, which we'll talk a bit more about when it's unboxed. And it has a multi-view option so you can change and adjust the different views so you can have picture in picture or picture by picture from multiple different sources. So that's everything on the box there so let's get it unboxed. What I'll do is show you the contents as we're going through and how to set it up correctly with my MacBook Pro. Sadly still haven't built my gaming PC but that's not going to be needed with this monitor as this is for productivity purposes. On the top of the box here we just have some unpacking information. Just follow these processes so you don't damage yourself or you don't damage the monitor. So let's crack it open and see what's inside. Looking at the contents that we receive in our box. So first of all you've got a display port to display port connection cable here that you can connect a device into. Moving on we have a HDMI to HDMI connection again to connect to any device that you so want to into your monitor. We also then have a USB-A to USB-C connection cable here so that can come in very handy we then have a uk3 pin power plug here to connect in you have an io cover here so this is a little bit of plastic that you can cover the io if you want to we also have a cd with manual and drivers on we also have a couple of quick start guides in multiple different languages and we've got a couple of bits of information that have come from the factory about calibration so that's all the connections that we receive you may receive a couple more in your retail unit as this is a press unit some have gone missing or some might not have been included so please make sure that you do check that all your cables are provided and in the quick start guide it lists all the cables you should be receiving. So move all this aside and let's actually have a look at our display. Looking at the IO that we have on our monitor here so starting off at the left hand side you do have a dedicated power switch with your power supply connection there. Moving along we have our HDMI, our display port connection, also a USB-C connection for that USB-C docking option, a RJ45 or Ethernet port connection and also an audio in which is helpful. Also on the left hand side here we've got a USB hub which is fast charging with a yellow one, three USB 3 ports and also the link port here which is available. Obviously you will need a cable which should be provided in your box. Also on this side for any interest is a Kensington lock so you can lock down your monitor. Also in the bottom of the box we found a stand and also the column so you can connect your monitor up. So let's do that now together. So our column here is good sturdy as well. It's made of plastic but inside there's a lot of metal. We do have have a Philips brand in here which I like to see which is nice you have a bit of cable management down here at the bottom which is also helpful so looking at our stand it does have two large teeth that will obviously grip into the column so sliding them teeth into that column or the stand here what you can do is use the locking nut that's underneath twist this in you can use a screwdriver if you so want to but if you're strong use all your muscle and all of your effort here it's quite nice and simple actually it's locking in quite nicely just make sure that's really tight because it has got to hold quite a large display so it's really solid so that is now ready to connect to our monitor which is nice and easy as well so just bringing in our monitor you've got teeth at the top and the bottom but put the teeth at the top first and then you should hear it click down which it did do and obviously this is going to come down and then your monitor is ready to stand back up and use also under here is a release switch so push up and then it will release your monitor 
column and stands. As you can see, our monitor is all set up and ready to go. And this is productivity at its finest and productivity can just fly through so easily, which means you can get work done. So for me, as a social media content creator, I need to keep an eye on all of my social media posts. Also, I need to keep an eye on my videos that I actually go up on YouTube. And also I like to enjoy some things on Netflix, as you can see some of the stuff I've been watching there. So from the left, we have the Facebook page for Tech Talk UK One. So make sure you go and give that a like. In the middle is my YouTube channel. So make sure you go and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated with all the latest news, reviews, and unboxings. Also ring the notification bell to stay updated. I'll keep that there to share new videos when they go live. And also I could add new videos in that section. At the bottom of that middle section is Netflix. I enjoy watching Netflix. Got loads of different content to watch through and enjoy. And on the far right hand side, we do have my Twitter feed. And again, we can keep up with the latest information on the Twitter feed there. Also, you will see a picture of the Philips monitor. And I've just talked about the unboxing video coming very soon. And as you can see, we're in the process of filming that video. So let's go through a few extra highlighting details, but there will be a full review as well in a good couple of weeks time and letting you know how well I've got on with this monitor. So one thing I really did like with this monitor when I was researching and looking into it was the two Vyland certification for eye comfort control, which is really helpful for me. Being visually impaired and looking at a monitor for a very long time, I need to make sure that my eyes don't get fatigued and I don't get tired. So to have a two Vyland certification is really good for eye comfort control. So it's crystal clear image as well, and I hope that's coming through in the video. It looks really pinpoint sharp, and that's thanks to its ultra wide quad HD display. And the resolution again for reference is 3440 by 1400. Has high performance panel with high density pixel count and also offers a 178 degree view and angle from each side, which I think is really good. Side by side working on the go and so much work and productivity can happen. That's what I talked about here with my social media feeds. I could do so much on this display and I won't require a multi-monitor setup. And also it does offer that built-in KVM switch to easy switch between sources with multiple client integration KVM switch. You can control two separate PCs, but only with one mouse or one keyboard. You don't need multiple setups. So we're looking to that and delve more into that in the review. It also offers effortlessly smooth action with adaptive sync technology. As I mentioned, with the two brand certification, you also get flicker free technology built in. So some people that suffer from the flickiness of the display, it also has low blue light mode as well. Again, will help late at night when I work later in the evening. It reduces the harsh blue light means that I can work for longer. So for people that are energy conscious and worry about the energy they cost and they use, so for people that worry about energy costs if you are using this in an office, say for instance, this monitor has a power sensor which can save up to 80% on energy costs, which is really good. What it does is it detects if a human is sitting or standing there, and once they move away from a certain distance, I've actually turned it off at the moment, or otherwise it'd actually turn itself off, but the monitor will turn itself off, which is really good to know, and will save you up to 80% of energy costs. So this monitor also offers a light sensor for the perfect brightness. It uses a smart sensor to adjust the picture brightness depending on the light conditions in your room and around you, which I think is a really good option to see here as well. It also is a VA display, which delivers awesome images with wide viewing angles. And like I said, it's 178 degrees on a horizontal line. It has an easy reading mode. Again, this is focusing on our eyes and actually helping us read better. So an easy reading mode for a paper-like reading experience. It also has a multi-view which enables simultaneous dual connection and view which means you can have picture in picture or picture by picture. It has an ergonomic design which allows for tilt, swivel and height adjustment so you can put it in the right position for you no matter what that is. It also offered a vest mount on the back when we talked about the column and the stand where you can use an arm or a different connection if you so want to. So our monitor is set up and it's ready to go and productivity is ready to fly out of the window so that means I should get more videos out it means I should get more tweets out I should be working a lot harder and hopefully I will do so please let me know if I'm not already if you do want to find out any more information the link will be in the description to Philips UK and also the best price available here in the UK and the US I know a lot of people are interested in monitors but thank you for watching the unboxing of the Philips 34 inch curved ultra wide monitor with USB-C docking of course there will be a review going through all the key features and the specs and learning a lot more about the monitor and also giving my personal Personal feedback letting you know how well I've got on. If you do have any questions or queries drop a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help. So please subscribe to the channel to stay updated and also ring the notification bell to get updates on my latest videos. For me Ricky and this gorgeous Philips 34 inch monitor I will see you very soon. Bye for now.